हेलो गाइस इट इज शिवम यर वेलकम टू दिस ब्रांड न्यू सीरीज ऑफ फ्लटर एंड फायर बेस वी आर बी आर डेवलपिंग द वॉल पेपर एप फ्रॉम स्क्रैच विद एडमिन पैनल ऑन दिस सीरीज विल कवर सेटिंग अ फायर बेस एज आर बैकेट डिजाइनिंग स्टर्निंग यूजर इंटरफेस ए पी आई इंटीग्रेशन डायनेमिक वॉल पेपर रेंडरिंग एंड मेनी मोर ऑल्सो डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू हिट दैट लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन सो दैट यू वोट मिस आउट on any of the upcoming videos we upload on this series now let's get started but before moving to the code let me show you what all things we will learn on today's video and how your app will look alike at the end of this video so here you can see the home page of our wallpaper app where you can see the app name which is wallify at the top of the screen and in the top left position you can see the user image and just below the app name you can see the carousel slider and in the carousel slider will show all the trending wallpaper in our home page so if the user want to set any of the wallpaper from the trending section then they will click to that respective wallpaper image and can set that wallpaper in their phone device as i have told you there will be also a admin panel in this app so that admin can upload all the wallpaper from the admin panel to the trending section category section and you can see that in the carousel slider all the wallpaper one after the another automatically we doesn't have to move or drag the image to see the wallpapers in our trending section so it is one of the interesting feature in the carousel slider because it automatically shows all the wallpapers in our trending section one by one and which makes the app really attractive for the user who are using this app now just below of it you can see the dot indicator which also move when the wallpaper move from one image to the another now just below of it you can see the bottom navigation bar where at the first you can see the home icon and at the second search icon and the third category icon so in the search icon as i have told you that we are also going to use a api from where we will get all the wallpapers and will show them in our app and we can set that wallpaper in our phone device so in the search bar the user can search any of the wallpaper accordingly like wildlife any sports player etc now let's move to the category section and here you can see the categories which is our headline for this page and you can see all the categories like wildlife foods nature city and we are going to add some more categories in our category section and when the user will click to that respective category then he can see all the wallpapers regarding that category that he have selected so from the admin panel the admin can also upload the wallpaper for that respective category and that wallpaper will directly shown to the user app so this is one of the most demanded and interesting wallpaper that i am going to make from the scratch with the help of firebase backend and some api integration i will also recommend you to please do not skip any of the process or part from this video because i will tell you each and every step in more detail you can also follow along with me and can start coding with me because this may help you to learn lots of thing regarding the flutter and firebase also do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that you won't miss out on any of the upcoming videos we upload on this channel and this series will be one of the most interesting series in our channel so do not miss out on any of the videos from this series too now let's get started now you can see that there is a check banner at the top right position of the app so to remove a debug so check banner let's move to the main.dart file and we'll write debug so mode check banner to false and by making it to false it will remove a check banner from the top right position now let's move to the leaf folder 
I will create a new folder name pages here and inside the pages folder I will create a new file name home.dart and inside the home.dart file I will create a package name flutter material.dart now we will write stateful widget home now scaffold body container child column so as you can see that when I am writing the widgets in our home.dart file then there is a blue line under each widget that I write on this dart file. So when you code it doesn't look good with a blue underline under the each widgets. So to remove the blue underline from widgets let's move to the analysis options.yml file and I will add a uh, two lines in our rules and it will directly remove the sum of the blue lines from the widgets. So here you can see that I have added the two lines in our rules. Now after saving the file it will almost remove the blue lines from our widgets and this will help us to code clearly in our VS code. Now I will write my app name in our home.dart file. So I will use a text widget here and inside the text widget I will write volify and will give the styling by using a text style. So we will write style text style color colors dot black font size 25.0 and font weight dot bold. So our app name will be volify here. Now let's call the home page from our main dot dart file and here you can see the app name. Now let's move the text widget to the center. Now I want to provide the styling to my text widget here. So we need to add the some fonts in our VS code so that we can use that fonts to give our styling to the text in our text widget. So let's move to the Google fonts here and here you can see that there are lots of fonts that you can use according to your need. So in the search bar I will search a poppins icon here. So I will write poppins. Now I will use this font in our VS code. So I will download the family from here. Now I will unzip the file poppins. So in the poppins you can see that there are lots of styling like poppins thin italic, poppins thin etc that you can use according to your need. So but before that let's create a folder name fonts here and we'll paste a poppins semi bold dot ttf file here. So I going to use this font in my app. Now we need to call this font in our prospect yml dot file. So let's move to the fonts and in the family I will write poppins. Now I'll write exact file name that I have saved in the fonts folder here. So I will write poppins semi Dot ttf. Please make sure when you are writing the specific font file name then it should be exact what you have saved in the fonts folder. If anything will be mismatch then you can't get the result in the text widget. Now run all the fonts here. Now let's move to the home.dart file and here I will write font family and will give the family name poppins. Now after saving the file so you can see that frequently change our styling of our text widget. So I have teached you how to use a fonts in your text widget by using a Google fonts and you can use our different fonts according to your choice. So if you are a new viewer in this channel then I have already made a video where I have teached you a lots of things regarding the text widget and many more widgets. So you can follow that video. I will paste the link in the comment box. So by following that video you can learn lots of things about uh, different widgets and can know more about these widgets in more detail which will help you to customize your app in more beautiful way. Now I want to show the user image here. So I will wrap a center widget with a row widget and through image.asset I will get the user image here. So let's create a first 
images folder here and in the images folder i will save the image that i want to show in our home page so you can see that i have saved one of the jpg file in our images folder now let's call that images folder in the perspxml file so let's write as set images and it will frequently call all the image that will save in the images folder please do not skip this process otherwise you can't get the images from the images folder so each and every step is necessary that i am doing in the perspxml file now we'll write images and we'll write exact image file name so we'll write boy dot jpg and through the height and width we'll give the image height and the width and fit box fit dot cover now clip react the reason for using a clip react because i want to provide the border radius to my image so i need to wrap up with a clip react widget and we'll write border border radius dot circular 60 so here you can see the user image now let's provide the margin from the left position now i want to provide some elevation to our image so we'll wrap up with a material widget and we'll pass the elevation 5.0 now let's provide the border radius to the material widget 2 so here it is done now let's provide the width between the image and the text so we'll write size box with 50.0 sorry 80.0 now let's remove the center widget here because through the center widget we can't center the text in the row widget so as i have explained you in the starting of the video that there will be a different wallpaper that will be shown in the home page which will be uploaded by the admin from the admin panel so we'll use a carousel slider here to show all the images in our home page so it will automatically shows all the images one by one in our home page and can show most trending wallpapers in our app so let's move to the pop dev and we need to write a carousel slider here because i need to copy the carousel slider package from pop dev to the perspxml file so that we can use a carousel slider in our app so paste the package in the perspxml file just in the dependencies and run the package now let's move to the home.dart file again and here i will write carousel slider dot builder and in the carousel slider will pass a list or the wallpaper that we want to show in the home page so let's move and create a list here so we'll write list name wallpaper image and we'll pass a list here and in the item count i will write wallpaper image dot length so that we can get all the length of the wallpaper that will shape in the list wallpaper image so you can see that i have saved all the image wallpaper in the images folder just for now because as i have told you that will show all the wallpaper from the firebase but we are just creating the ui and after creating the ui we'll add a function from the firebase so we'll write images wallpaper one dot jpg so we'll write all the address of wallpaper one wallpaper two and wallpaper three so in the item builder i will write context index and real index through the index we'll get all the things that we have saved in the list name wallpaper image and we'll write final res wallpaper image and we'll write index dot and through the wallpaper image will get all the index one by one and will show them through the widget name build image here so let's create a widget name build image
and will pass a string url image basically in the url image will pass the address of the image that we have saved in the images folder and in the index i will pass the index of that respective wallpaper that i want to show one by one in a carousel slider and will pass a container and in the container i will give the height media query dot of context dot size dot height divide by 1.5 now many of the new viewers who are watching my video for the first time they might got confused why i have used a media query in a height basically media query makes your app highly responsive so by using the media query in the height you can use the height of the container accordingly if you want to test the app in a multiple device so i will always recommend you to use a media query in your container when you are passing it to the height now we'll write child image dot asset and we'll write url to image and we'll write fit box fit dot cover so if you want to learn more about the image widget then i have already told you that you can follow one of my video in my channel where i've told lots of thing regarding this widgets in a flutter now we'll pass a with media query dot of context dot size dot width and we'll wrap up a image dot asset with a clip react so that we can give the border radius to the image widget here so we'll write border radius dot circular 10 so in the build image we'll pass a image which will be res as you know that we have already created a wallpaper image list here so we'll get all the address of that respective wallpaper from the index like 0 1 2 in our res string and we'll pass that to the build image function and in the options we'll write carousel options and you can see that there are lots of things that you can use in the carousel option like reverse autoplay duration page snapping etc so in the height we'll give the height of the carousel slider that we want to show so we'll again use a media query here now view portion fraction one here and enlarge center page to true and enlarge strategy strategy dot height I am writing all these things because I want to show my carousel slider according to the design that I have thought. So there are lots of things that you can use according to your way as you want to show the carousel in your home page. So let's restart the app. So I made a small mistake here. I have wrote a carousel slider in our row. So let's remove the carousel slider from the row widget and we'll paste it in the column widget so after doing that you can see the image that i have passed in our carousel slider so let's provide the height from the top so i will write size box height 30.0 and let's provide this margin from the right position so we'll write right 20.0 now let's provide some more border radius to the image so we'll write border radius dot circular 30 so we'll change from 10 to 30 and you can see that after dragging the image it will show the second image and the third image so our carousel slider is working brilliantly and you can see all the images that we have saved in our wallpaper list so our second and third image is same so let me change the image so that i can see three different images in our home page so we have replaced a third image with the another image and you can see the third image in our home screen 
Now I want that it will automatically shows all the wallpaper in our home page. We don't we don't have to scroll each image one by one. See all the images in our home page. So in the carousel option, I will write auto play to true. So by making it to true, you can see that it loads the second image and the third image automatically without the user have to drag the image to see the next image here. So this is one of the important feature in the carousel slider to show all the images automatically in the home page and it also looks good because by making the autoplay to true it frequently loads the image one by one so now let me show you the usage of viewport fraction so if i will remove a viewport fraction then you can see all the three images together in the home page but it doesn't look good we doesn't enlarge the center image here so to enlarge the center image and make the image to use a complete height and width of the screen i need to write viewport fraction one here so there are lots of things in the carousel option you can use according to your choice and make your app really more attractive by using a carousel slider now i am going to show a dot indicator just below the carousel slider because I want to show how much image are in our home page by using a dot indicator. So when we'll move to the second image, then the dot indicator will move automatically according to the casual slider move from first to second, second to third and third to fourth. So to show a dot indicator. So let's move to the pop dev and we need to copy the package name smooth page indicator, which will help us to show a dot indicator in our home page so we'll move to the installing and copy the package from here and we'll paste it inside the PostpackML file now run the package in the PostpackML file now let's move to the home.dart file and we'll create a widget name build indicator and in the indicator we'll show a animated smooth indicator and in the active index will pass the active index of the carousel slider so that we can move a dot indicator automatically when the wallpaper move from one to the another so we need to update the active index here so that we can successfully move the dot indicator from one to the another so we'll create a int active index and we'll keep on updating the active index and will pass the active index to the dot indicator so that it can frequently update as soon as the wallpaper move from one page to the another so we'll write active index zero now in the count i will pass a count of all the wallpaper that we have shown in the carousel slider so that many dot we can show here in our home page which will indicate that how much wallpaper are there in the home page. So in the count, I am writing three here because we are showing three wallpaper in our home page. And in the effect, there are lot of the effect that you can show according to your choice. So you can see swap effect, bomb effect, slide effect, jumping dot effect, expanding dot effect, etc. So there are lot of animations that you can show in your app according to your choice basically this effect is something that will shown when the dot will move from one dot to the another don't get confused i will show you how i will do that so in the slide effect so i'm going to use a slide effect here now in the slide effect i will write dot width so in the dot width i will pass 15 here and dot height 15 basically this height and width will help us to provide the dot a specific size according to the number we enter in a dot width and the height and in the active dot color when the specific dot will be active then the this color will be shown in that dot so i am passing colors dot blue now let's call the build indicator 
in the column widget and will provide the space between the carousel slider and the dot indicator. So we'll call a build indicator widget here and we'll center it with, with the help of center widget here. So here you can see the dot that I was talking about. So you can see that we have passed a count three. So it shows a three dot in our home page. Now you can see that our carousel slider is keep on changing the wallpaper from one to the another, but our dot indicator is not moving automatically according to the carousel slider. So we need to pass a on change method in our carousel option so that we can frequently update the dot indicator index from one to the another. So we'll call a on page change function and we'll write index reason and in the set state we'll update the active index that we have just passed in the build indicator widget and we'll update the active index according to the index of the carousel slider. So we'll use a set state frequently update the active index according to the index of the carousel slider. So for an example, if the index of the carousel slider is one, then it will frequently update the active index to one and the active index will help us to move the indicator from one dot to the another. So now let's hot restart it again. And here you can see that after moving to the second wallpaper active index. So here you can see that after moving to the second wallpaper, our dot indicator move automatically with the help of active index here. And it's keep on moving according to the carousel slider. So our build indicator is also working brilliantly and our carousel slider and build indicator are moving according to the index that we have passed. Though I have told you there are lots of effect in the build indicator. So let me change the effect to jump dot effect. And you can see that after hot restart it again, it will move to the next dot by jumping from one point to the another. So by jumping dot effect, it will jump from one dot to the another by jumping dot effect. Now let's change it to the slide effect again. So there are lots of animation that you can use according to your choice. Now let's move and we'll create a curve bottom navigation in our home page so that we can frequently navigate to the different pages like search categories and the home page. So we'll move to the pop dev and we'll copy the curve navigation package from here and we'll paste it inside the PerspectML file. So let's move to the pages folder and we'll create a new file name bottom nave dot dot and we'll again import the package material dot dot and stateful widget name bottom nave so let's move and we'll create a integer current tab index so that we can get the index of that respective icon that we have tab in our bottom navigation bar and in the list we'll write widget we'll name the list name pages here and in the pages we'll save all the page that will pass in our bottom navigation bar so let's create a search dot dot file here and we'll again import the package and we'll write a stateful widget name search here. Now let's move and we'll create one more file in our pages folder, which is categories dot and let's import again a material dot dot package and we'll create a stateful widget name categories here.
now let's move to the bottom nav and we'll call all the pages that we have saved in the pages folder and we want to show them in the bottom navigation bar so first one is home and categories and the search now in the init state i will call all the page to that respective string that we have just mentioned above so for the home we'll call a home.dart file and for the search search.dart file and in the categories we'll call a categories.dart file now we'll save all the dart file in the pages list so that we can show them in the bottom navigation bar by using the specific index so first we are going to show the home page then the search page then the categories page and i will create one more widget name current page now in the current page i will show the home page here because i want that as soon as the app launches then it will show first the home page and user can navigate to the search page and categories page by using a bottom navigation bar now scaffold bottom navigation bar and will write curved navigation bar though this is not my first time that i am using a curved navigation bar in the flutter app i have already made a series food delivery app where we have made the complete app from scratch with admin panel where i have already used a bottom navigation bar in that series so if you are a new viewer to this channel then i will recommend you to follow that series too which will help you to learn lots of thing regarding the flutter and firebase i will paste the link in the description box so that you can follow that series and can add one more app to your app bucket list you can also follow some more apps like chat app to do app news app that will help you to learn lots of thing regarding the apis payment gateway flutter widgets flutter packages etc though in the home page you have used a carousel slider but i have already used a carousel slider in our news app so if you already followed a news app then you might not face a difficulty to add a carousel slider in the home page so in the items i will pass all the icons that i want to show in our navigation bar so first one is icon icons dot home outline and we'll give the color to our icon which is color colors dot white and our second icon will be icon icons dot search outline and third icon will be icon icons dot categories so these are the three icons that i will use in the curve navigation bar to navigate into the three pages that i have just mentioned above now in the curve navigation bar i will give the height 65 which will suggest the height of the bottom navigation bar and will pass the color which will be the customized color code now i want to show the animation duration which will be the duration of milliseconds 500 by using the animation duration it will suggest that how much time it will take to show the animation by moving from one icon to the another so you can also pass a duration 500 seconds and in the on tab will pass the index and in the set state will show the current tab index equals to index so by using the current tab index i will show the respective page if the user have pressed on the respective icon so this will help me to navigate to the different pages easily by using the respective index of that page in the pages list now let's move to the main dot dart file and we'll call a bottom nav function and here you can see the all icons that i have been talking about so here you can see the home page 
search page and the categories page but i can't see my home page here because i think so i forgot to call a current page in the body that i want to show in the scaffold widget so here you can see the home page now let's change the color of that respective icon so that i can see all the icons clearly so we'll write a button background color colors dot black and the background color colors dot white now pass all the color to that respective icon so that we can see all the icons when we tap to that respective icon So here you can see the search and category icon clearly. So I am changing a customized color code in our bottom navigation bar to make it more attractive for the users who are using the app so that they can see all the icons clearly in our bottom navigation bar. So we'll pass a color dot from ARGB and 25, 84, 87 and 93. So this is a customized color code that I am going to use for our bottom navigation bar and it also look really great with a UI that we have just wrote in our home page. Now let's move to the categories page. So we'll first make the UI in our categories dot dart file. But before moving to the categories page, I have a small request from you. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe button till now then please hit that like so that you won't miss out on any of the content we upload on this channel and you won't also miss the videos that will keep on uploading in our wallpaper series so first i am going to create a headline for our categories dot dart file which will be the categories then we'll show all the categories one by one in the form of the list so that user can tap to that respective category and can get all the wallpaper for that respective category and then can use them as their wallpaper in their phone device so we'll copy the same text widget that we have wrote in the home page and we'll paste it to the column widget and we'll rename it to the categories so here you can see the text now i will center the text by using the center widget and we'll give the margin from the top so we'll use h inside dot only top 50.0 so here i will create a container and i will use a stack widget here because i will use a respective image for that category and just above the image i will show the name of that respective category whenever you want to overlap two widgets one over the another then you can use a stack widget here basically stack widget can help us to write one widget over the another so in the container i will write decoration box decoration and will first pass the border radius dot circular 20 now we'll give the width media query dot of context dot size dot width so that it can use the complete width of the screen now we'll pass the image that we have saved in the images folder by using image.asset so we'll call a wildlife.jpg image and we'll pass a width media query dot of context dot size dot width and we'll use a height 300 year and fit box fit dot cover so here i can't see the image so i have wrote a wrong file name here our w is small so we'll change it to a small letter now here you can see the image that we have saved in our images folder now let's provide the margin from the left position so we'll write left 20.0 and write 20.0 and from the bottom and we'll give the height from the top so we'll use size box height 20.0 so let's decrease the height of the image to 150 maybe 180 so it's look good now we'll provide the border radius to the image by using a clip react widget as you can see that i have already provided the border radius to our container 
then why I'm going to use a border radius again by using a clip react widget to give the border radius to the image. The reason is that whenever you are going to write a container and provide the border radius in the container, then it won't give the border radius to your image. So whenever you want to provide a border radius to the image, then always wrap up a image widget with a clip react widget and pass the border radius to your clip react widget. So this was a small hint from me to how to use a clip react widget and give the border radius to your image. So I'm going to provide lots of hint in this wallpaper series, which will help you to make your coding easier and learn lots of things regarding the flutter widgets. Now I will write container and will overlap a image widget here. So in the decoration, we'll pass a color colors.black38. I'm using a color black38 because I want to show a text just over this image. So to show the image clearly, I need to give a black color to that respective image and to show the white text clearly over this image. So we'll use our text wildlife and we'll give the styling text style color colors dot white font family pop-ins and font size 20.0 and font weight dot bold. So here you can see the image. Now let's bring it to the center. So we'll wrap up with a center widget. Also increase the text size to 28. And we'll change the color to black 26 and we'll pass a border radius to the container. So here you can see that I've created a first category name wildlife here by using the stack widget in our container widget. And here it's look really great. Now let's move and create some more category in our categories dot dart file. So I will copy the same container code that I have just wrote now and will paste it below and will just change the image file name and the text. So here you can see that I have created a four category in our categories dot dot file. So first one is wildlife, second one is food, third one is nature and fourth one is city. So I have already told you that there will be also a admin panel in this app. So through the admin panel, the admin can upload the respective wallpaper to the user app by using the respective category and they can upload the wallpaper to the Firebase storage and we'll use that image to show them in our app. So this is it from this video. On our next video, I will add the Firebase with our Flutter app as our backhead. We'll also create the admin panel so that admin can upload the wallpapers to the app. Also, if you want to learn more about the Flutter and the Firebase, you can follow the chat app food delivery app, to do app, news app, quiz app, where we have made the complete app from scratch. I will paste the link in the comment box. Also, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that you won't miss out on any of the upcoming videos we upload on this series. Until then, keep coding, keep having fun. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.